Alright, so, what we're going to do, we can only spawn in this little blue circle here, so we got to make the most of it. And uh, let's actually see how we're going to do this, because I feel like this is going to be kind of difficult. Hello reformers and welcome back to Freeman. Now when we left off we eliminated a faction and well the siege actually went very very well with the exception of the well obvious thing that happened. I won't go into it right now but anyway right here we are on our inventory screen. I'm ready to level up and what are we going to do? Well we're going to do leadership aren't we? Yeah leadership it uh, it's just so important right now. It's really really important so we're going to be increasing that as much as we can and then I'll just put a point in instructor just because you know just because we can and uh, I think it might actually be a good idea for me to start specking in a little bit of rifle skill because you never know maybe I'm going to be using a rifle at some point really depends but otherwise we're just going to be giving ourselves a, a couple of grenades why not so let's give ourselves a couple of grenades and uh, yeah now thanks to the fact that we did lose quite a few units in the previous episode I am now going to be able to Recruit Yuri. Obviously, at the moment, I'm just going to make sure that we... Yeah, okay, so we have 71 spaces. I think we're pretty fine to, uh, to actually uh, start recruiting some people now. Actually, properly a little bit. And let's just level up this guy. And that's it. Oh, okay, wow, they really did not level up that much. Okay, well, anyway, let's uh, let's just try and get a couple of people to join us just normally because you never know if they fail to, there we go, yes, if we actually fail to, to persuade them, then I have the opportunity to execute them, and then Yuri is going to have his compliance go up, and then it's going to be a lot easier for us to deal with it. So, that's what we're going to do. There you go, his compliance has gone up to 52, that's pretty fantastic. I'm going to continue, um, I, you know what, I'm just going to skip over the looters for now. Because they are obviously very, very low tier, and I don't really mind about potentially executing them in comparison to executing the bandits. I think we could actually start doing it now. Ooh, that's... No, okay, that was close. That was really close. Okay, so we convinced Yuri to join us. That's fantastic. And uh, I think we could actually... Yeah, I think we can just... probably get the rest pretty easily. I think. There we go. And I don't exactly know whether I have enough space for the rest of them, but we're going to try our best here. Wow, the Armored Marauder with 45, wow, 45 compliance, and he still joined us. That was pretty crazy. Okay, and these two looters can join us as well. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Now you can see here, Gorinka is under siege by 43 people. That's no problem at all. Uh, weirdly enough, the people from Minov, they did not continue the siege. I, I don't exactly know why that is. I think it is because in this version of Freeman, because it is obviously still early access, there are some things that happen when you reload the game and uh, things like that. So obviously, after the previous episode, saved and quit. And, uh, you know, then reloaded it today. And, uh, well, that's what happened. So, yeah. It, uh, it seems to reset positions somewhat, even though mm, sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I don't exactly know what's going on with that. But it's not really a big deal because, as you can see, there is another one of our towns under siege. All right, so now let's go over to Yuri, and we're gonna we're gonna give him the Hades squad, shall we? Let's give him the Hades squad, and we're gonna we're gonna actually just do this. Uh, actually, you know what? Should we give him the Hades squad, or should we give him a different squad? Maybe it would be a good idea to give him a different squad. I don't exactly know at the moment, but what I do know is we're gonna we're gonna put all these Brotherhood units in here. There we go, and we'll put them with the female fighter because she's obviously going to become a combat medic and it would be kind of good to have her there, and uh, we could put, a, yeah, okay, so we're going to put Yuri with the Artemis squad because there's all Spec Ops guys, and I think that could be very, very effective. We're going to change the squad icon. Where is Yuri? Where is he? Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to... Oh, there, there he is. There he is. Okay, fantastic. All right, so Yuri obviously needs a bunch of stuff. So we are going to give him... Which is better? Which is better? Well, the Katov is obviously better, it seems. And we're going to give him a helmet. Take that helmet, please. Thank you very much. And we're going to give him the Assault Armor Forest Camo. He's just going to be an absolute beast right here. 
We don't have any pants or anything for him, but I think he's wearing pretty decent stuff already, with the exception of... I think he has good boots already. Yeah, he has already good boots. And then we can give him the gas mask right there, and we can also give him the gloves. Oh yeah, now he's doing fantastically. Okay, so let's upgrade him. He literally has 385 HP. I'm gonna... I, I, am, I feel very sorry for whoever has to go up against him, to be honest. He is just really quite beastly at the moment. Alright, so these guys are all Posner sharpshooters, so I should probably put this guy in here, because it's a Posner cadet. And... Well, I I don't exactly know what else we can do here. I mean, we do have... Okay, so this FCA Grenadier is going to go out here, and I'm just going to sort out a couple of these squads. Well, that is very interesting. I actually made my way all the way over to Gorinka, and then there was no one there. I have no idea what was going on with that. But anyway, as you can see right here, we do have Litvin, which is currently under siege. And that is an FCA base. And I think, you know what? You know what we're going to do? I think we are actually going to try and take Litvin from the FCA. Because bear in mind, just see, see exactly what our territory is at the moment. Because our territory right now consists of these three towns. And it kind of makes a little bit of sense for us to take Litvin, because it's right here. You know, it's kind of uh, along the way, so to speak. And uh, if we had supply lines, which I don't think we do at the moment, but if we had supply lines, that would definitely be a very, very good thing to do. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get prepared, and then we're going to just go in here. I'm going to upgrade a couple of my units. And uh, while that's happening, obviously I'm just going to wait and see what happens with this siege. Well, that was unfortunate. I actually did intend to attack a band of armored marauders which had a couple of prisoners by the name of FCA Juggernauts and FCA Grenadiers, and it would have been pretty awesome for us to actually accomplish that, but unfortunately we are moving pretty slowly right now, because I don't have any vehicles. This. Uh, Oh, this vehicle shop actually does not have any vehicles for sale, which is unfortunate because I actually thought of maybe buying one. But I don't know whether you noticed, but my money in the top right there has depleted severely. And there's a reason for that. I've upgraded our Posner sharpshooters massively. And so you're, you're going to see them be much, much more effective in this siege. Bear in mind, Litvin now has 40 units exactly in the garrison here and that is probably going to spell their demise so let's see what we can do oh this is actually pretty nice with the amount of trees here these trees are definitely going to make a huge huge amount of difference hades is the posner sharpshooter group so that's what we're going to do with them we are literally just going to get them in here right away and Let's actually just move them into the trees very, very subtly right here. Just, you know, a little bit, just slipping in there, no problem at all. And we're just going to get the rest of them over here. These guys are consisting completely of bandits. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them and we're going to do a bit of a risky maneuver with them. I think these guys are also snipers. I think they're also snipers. So it would make sense for them to all be together, wouldn't it? So let's let's move those guys over there. And we're going to take our three companions, and we're going to do a little bit of a little bit of flanking action. Nothing, nothing too dramatic, because in general that's kind of a risky maneuver to begin with. We don't really want to do something too dangerous for them, because I don't really want to have them die. I'd, I'd much rather have them be useful. And uh, I guess what we'll do is just move these guys down here. And, oh yes, we haven't really done anything with the bandit party just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them all the way around. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe sneak up on the opponent a little bit. I don't think that's really going to work, personally, because the AI, the enemy AI at least, tends to be pretty proactive when it comes to knowing exactly what's going on in terms of enemy attacks and, and things like that. So... Yeah, it's probably going to be something I'll have to modify as we play, but let's have a look and see whether that's actually going to make any difference whatsoever. Let's see whether we'll be able to do relatively well. Do bear in mind those sharpshooters are going to be so, so good right now. They have 19 accuracy when they, I believe, are the best units in terms of accuracy stat in the game. Now, obviously I, I don't exactly know because I haven't obviously checked everyone's accuracy stat, Ever. You know, I haven't checked the Freedom freedom Snipers. I think they have 12 base without being upgraded or something like that. So I don't think I really have to worry too much 
about them being outclassed in any way. But uh, obviously the only way they can be outclassed, I guess, would be fire rate and obviously HP as well. I didn't have enough money, as you could probably tell, to actually upgrade their HP that much. I could upgrade it a little bit, but I, I chose not to because they are literally the most long-range units we have. And it's unlikely they're going to get into any sticky situations, or at least I hope not. So, yeah, let's see what I can do here, though. We've already taken out one. There is actually someone hiding behind that barricade over there. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't taken that much damage yet. Because I'm kind of... I'm, I'm being a bit risky here, you know? I'm not taking it too cautious. Ah, there we go. There's the damage. Okay, so who's actually shooting me here? That guy, for example, I guess. Wow, they're hiding very, very well, I gotta say that. Okay, well, let's go prone here real quick. Make sure our units are doing decent enough jobs. Let's actually move these guys in here. Why not? Why not? It doesn't seem to make too much difference, really, because these enemies are literally being pinned down like nothing else. Our bandits are doing okay. They're kind of getting a little bit stuck over there, but, well, we can't really do much about that at the moment. Let's move our companions into the town from behind a little bit here. And I'd like to try and take out that sniper if at all possible, because that sniper is really posing... Well, not, not the sniper, but the guy that's like right behind one of the barricades. He's posing quite a bit of a threat to our snipers. As you can see, that guy right there, he's being kind of annoying, because our snipers seem to be unable to eliminate him for whatever reason. Maybe they took him out now? Yeah, it seems like they took him out now. Okay, that's fine. So, I put myself at risk for nothing. Great. Who's actually shooting me right here? That guy over there? Seems to be a guy over there. Oh, there we go. There's the hit marker. Don't think I'm going to be able to get him, to be honest, because I'm literally firing blind right now. I thought there might be a door in here, but apparently not. Was that a grenade? Yes, I think it was. Obviously, these are FCA, so they do have grenadiers readily available to defend. And there's one showing how explosive it can be by killing one of our bandits. Yeah, and it seems like... Uh, oh, it seems like there's someone very close by to me. Do you see that? There was actually someone very, very close by to me on the map. Who is actually shooting me right now? Ah, that guy. Are you serious? Okay, grenades. Take it. Take that grenade right there. It was enough. I thought to myself, he's not going to get away from that explosion. It's not going to be enough for him to get away from it. But never mind, we got him. But you, you could see exactly the AI's improvements, you know, because before the AI would kind of not really know what to do with, with grenades, or at least that's what I've seen in the past, where they haven't really reacted to it that much. But nowadays, they're reacting very, very quickly to it. Anyway, let's move in and finish them off, shall we? Let's move these guys behind here. There we go. A little bit like so. Not too, not too much, but just, just enough. Oh, I thought that was actually an enemy creeping up on me right there, and then I realized, no, they'd probably be shooting me, wouldn't they?
Oh well, I guess another grenade is in order. Well, never mind. Maybe it's not even necessary. We only lost three units. And that is literally just our bandits, as far as I'm aware. Our bandits were the only ones that actually took any casualties in that battle. And we're going to get some very, very nice money right here. I mean, I need it. <laughs> I need it quite a bit. So let's just try and take as much as I can get my hands on. And wow, there's actually a lot of it. There we go. Wow, we're getting some awesome stuff right here. Okay, so we're getting three FCA Grenadiers to add to our ranks. Hopefully we'll be able to get them to join us. And we're also getting a couple of Armored Marauders and some Bandits. Awesome. Okay, that's very, very nice. Now, obviously on top of that, we were able to take Litvin itself. And, I mean, you think to yourself, that's that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, that was easy, but obviously the garrison had been... Well, wounded and indeed weakened by someone else. So we took advantage of that quite nicely. And now we're going to be able to sell a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to... Wow, I already have 13,000 again. I had I had six, didn't I? Yeah, I had like six or something like that. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, yeah, I think this is... Yeah, I, th I think I should definitely sell this. Can, can I can I not can I not sell that? Is it full? Yep, that <laughs> that merchant is actually full. That is kind of hilarious. Cause I I think I actually did sell here previously, so that might be the reason why. Okay, well I guess I can just sell to this guy, but he also does not have that much in the way of things and money. That is. Ah, okay, well that's uh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Okay, well, anyway, I'm just going to rest here for a little bit and we'll see if someone decides to attack us. Alright, so what do we have on our hands here? Well, we have a bit of a siege. <laughs> yeah, 124 opponents for us to deal with here and I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried, actually. I'm a bit worried about this because this is one of the largest siege defenses we've actually done. Amusingly enough, did you see on the right side there, as we loaded into this, it said Pozna Rebellion or Pozna Faction or whatever whatever it's called has gone down in relation with us. And what I find amusing about this is that they were the ones to attack us, so our relation with them must already be low enough to constitute that. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of amusing anyway. Alright, so what we're going to do... We can only spawn in this little blue circle here, so we've got to make the most of it. And uh, let's actually see how we're going to do this, because I feel like this is going to be kind of difficult. Huh. Okay, well, let's just very quickly get our companions out here. And we're going to place them in relatively, well, I'm hopeful, relatively good positions. I don't exactly know if it's going to help or work, but we're, we'll try our best, I guess. And uh, do I have any? Uh, do I have any snipers? I think I have one. Uh, yeah, two groups of snipers. I have Hades, and I have Ares, or uh, yeah, something like that. All right, so let's see if I can. Hmm. I guess we're going to tell our bandits to go over there, and our snipers are basically just going to stand around here. I guess. Where's our other group? Oh, there they are. Okay, so they're also going to go around here, something like that. And we'll get our Spec Ops guys to maybe stand around here, around the rocks or something like so. And maybe the Grenadiers. Hmm. This is. Uh, hmm. It's not really going to work out too well, I feel, but, well, let's try it, shall we? Let's see. There we go. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. There's not much more. I really don't want to run into them. I don't want to charge into them or anything like that. I feel like that's just not going to work. So I guess we're just going to try our best. Bear in mind, there are 124 of them. It is not just going to be one wave or anything like that. So we do need to keep a hold on how many losses we're having. Uh, do bear in mind, though, that I have a couple of reinforcements waiting in the wings. So even if we do lose a couple of squads... We should still have a couple to reinforce them. So that's not too bad. And bear in mind that uh, this guy might not even have the greatest of units. I have no idea what he has. That's the thing. I have no idea what he has whatsoever. Because he literally 
just started attacking us without me even knowing what's going on. So, I guess, uh, he has a, wow, he has a FCA Juggernauts. Okay, that might, that might pose a bit of a problem. Because obviously they, they're not the best when it comes to their offense, but they're extremely good when it comes to their defense. So, it's going to be kind of harsh. I'm actually wondering whether I can shoot through this. Yeah, it seems like I can. A little bit. There we go, there's a positive cadet taking out. There we go. I'm just checking the map here just to make sure that we're not missing out on anything here and it seems like we're okay these bandits have not taken any casualties yet very very interesting I actually thought that they would take you know, take casualties pretty fast but apparently not okay so are our sharpshooters actually doing anything I don't know so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move them over here let's actually just move them like so is that a hill that's kind of a hill up there, so maybe it would make sense for us to put them there. That might be pretty good. I'm just thankful I'm behind these, these sandbags at the moment, because if I wasn't, I think we would probably be taking a lot of damage. They are getting absolutely murdered by our sharpshooters, really. That is kind of amazing. To actually have them be effective from that range, that is really, really good. I'm very glad that I actually went with that kind of formation here, because if we hadn't put those sharpshooters on that side, we'd probably be flanked already. Let's face it, we'd probably be flanked already. Bear in mind that we are protected pretty nicely from flanks, because we do have a couple of people on the side here in separate groups. So even if they do get a nade going over to them, then it's not really going to make that much difference to if we are able to defend successfully. There are a couple of people behind us, so that's the reason why I'm moving a bit back here. Yeah, there's someone up there, as you can see. They seem to have gained a bit of a good position on us, which is not good. That is certainly not something we want to see happen more often, so I'm going to try and just eliminate these guys. I'm going to go full auto for the moment as well. Seems like there's no one actually here now. Seems like we've eliminated most of the attacking force in this area at least so that is good that is absolutely fine but we are being shot from where from over there uh, okay so once our Poznan sharpshooters come over here I think we'll have a really really good time of things it seems like our bandit squad did get eliminated but that's alright because I, I don't want to say it but they're kind of expendable units they don't really you know offer too much to the squad and speaking of offering too much to the squad Zeus get out of there you're too old to be in the action well yes if he could hear me say that he'd probably strike me down very quickly indeed oh well never mind there you go so that's uh, yeah I, th I think we are in decent enough positions though I don't think we have to worry too much I am a bit worried about this flank being attacked here so that's the reason why I'd like to get our sharpshooters over here as fast as possible but they do take their time don't they they certainly do there are a couple of enemies actually coming in from the side here as well so I might have to ward them off myself at least for the moment as you can see look there's one on the horizon right there maybe I can do a little bit of damage yeah there we go they are Poznan riflemen they might actually be a couple of Poznan sharpshooters in that group as well as well which is obviously a big cause for concern because if they get up top right over there they can probably get a pretty decent vantage point on most of our forces, which is not something you want. You really do not want that. So let's try and prevent that from happening, shall we? Let's 
seems okay so far, actually. Yeah, there's just a couple this way, which are not going to be too difficult to eliminate. Wow, okay. Maybe, maybe kind of difficult. Let's try and heal ourselves before I get shot in the face again. Alright, yeah, so we are going a little bit too deep into enemy territory right here, but that's alright, that's okay, because we now have our Posner sharpshooters in position. Actually, you know what, let's just move them a little bit more over to the right here, because I think anyone coming from this side is just going to get picked off immediately by those sharpshooters, and that's exactly what we want. And let's move Anna's group over there as well, let's move Yuri's a little bit ahead too. And it seems like Vera's might be getting a little bit more damage taken, but I don't think we have to worry too much about that because, as you can see by the kill feed, we seem to be having a pretty decent time of things. Poseidon is actually getting kind of murdered right now, so let's get them out of there. And let's get Iris in on the action here now as well. And we're going to just deploy Iris where they are because, well, they're full of snipers. Yes, they are full of snipers, so that means... Anyone coming up on them is just going to get murdered before they can do anything. So that's that's absolutely fantastic. Otherwise, I think we're good. There's only 20 enemies remaining. Bear in mind, we had how many? 45 on the battlefield, and we now have 31. So we've lost 14, and I hope that not any of them have been a absolutely killed, I guess. I, I think there probably will be a couple of casualties to the Grim Reaper, but I think we should be relatively okay there's so much smoke going on here as well there's just so much fire and I don't mean actual burning fire but I'm talking about shooting things you know there might actually be a vantage point up here can I actually go up these stairs no, I cannot go up those stairs. Ah, oh, well, that's a bit of a shame, but I don't think there's actually a window up there anyway. No, it doesn't seem like it. You see those guys over there? They're actually attempting to do battle with our Posner sharpshooters, which are perched on top of those rocks. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah. Did you see that? Just took damage from an enemy Posner sharpshooter. I'm pretty sure that that was the case, because they deal so much damage, and I went down from, what, 100 and... I think I had 130 HP or 140 or something like that, so they took me down to 30, so they literally did, like, 100 damage. Pretty crazy. At least I'm now at 148 is there actually someone still alive over there? Is that guy still alive? I don't know. But there's only five enemies remaining, and they are actually eliminating a couple of our forces here. Look at this. That is not good. Let's get those guys out of there. Let's actually get our people to, uh, to actually start eliminating the enemy forces. And I think I might be dead. Oh, that was close. That was very, very close indeed. There's only two left. There's one over there. He's dead. There's one more. Once the one dies, that is going to be it. And that will be 124 enemies killed. Which is pretty crazy. Ah, it seems like we've spotted him. He is right over here. Look, there he is. He's running. Never mind. It's just actually a combat medic. Well, that's that's kind of interesting. Oh, well, never mind. There you go. 21 friendly casualties, 124 enemy casualties. That's exactly what they get, though. That is really what they get. Anyway, as you can see, we do now have a Vim Marksman Rifle. It's an absolutely fantastic weapon. I really love using it. I'm just not very good at using it. It depends on the scope, I guess. I think you need to get a pretty decent scope for it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be taking as much stuff as I can get my hands on, with the exception of the ammo. And then, oh my, this was actually a general. This was actually a general. I actually thought that it might be, but I wasn't sure. But now we know I was able to capture another general. So that means that I will be able to convert him to our side, hopefully. And then we will have someone else to help us out a little bit. That seems pretty good. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll probably try and further our 
attacks against the Pozna and indeed maybe even eliminate the FCA, but we do need to take two more towns to be able to do that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.